This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in today's tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can wrap text around a circle using Inkscape. So let's go ahead and get started here in Inkscape. The first thing we want to do is create a circle. So we'll grab the Circles and Ellipses tool and hold Control and Shift in the keyboard and click and drag to create a perfectly round circle like that. And we'll grab the Select tool and I'll just put this off to the side. This circle is going to be what we wrap the text around. So I'll go ahead and grab the Text tool over here, click on the canvas, and I'm just going to write in some text here. It's better to use caps, uh, all capital letters, when you're wrapping it around a circle. It just works better that way. I'm just going to write Wrap Your Text. And grab uh, the Select tool again. I want to make that a little bigger by holding Control and Shift and scaling that up. Then I'll grab the Text Editor over here, and I'm just going to choose a different font. I'll go with Lead Gothic. <clears throat> go ahead and click Apply. Hold Control and Shift and scale it up a little more. And here we have our text, and I'm just going to make this red for now. And what I'm going to do now is with this text selected, I'm going to hold Shift and click on the circle and go to Text, Put on Path. And as you'll see, it wrapped the text around a circle. So what would I want to do now is rotate this around. So I'm not going to rotate the actual text, and I'm not going to rotate both of these together. I'm going to click off of this to deselect everything, and I'm going to click on just the circle and rotate that. So I'll click on it again to get the rotation handles. And I'll rotate that around until we have it sitting where we want it to be. Just like that. And once you're finished, once you have it positioned and you want to get rid of this circle, if you try to get rid of that circle, it's, it, it's going to remove the text from the circle like that. So what you want to do is click on the text and then go to Path, Object to Path. And that'll finalize it as an object and now you can get rid of the circle like that. So um, also you can go to Text. Uh, remove from path and that'll take it off of the circle. So let's say you want the text to be going the opposite way like on the inside of the circle right here. Well with that we could just go to uh, control and shift and scale that up a little more. I'll take the text to select it, hold shift, click on the circle, go to text, put on path and as you can see let me click off of it and take just the circle and rotate this around. Let's say you want this text to be down here at the bottom but as you rotate it around it's on the outside of the circle. What if you want it on the inside of the circle? Well, for that, you just flip it horizontally or vertically, flip selected objects horizontally, and now your text is running on the inside of the circle here. Now, if you notice, the letters are a little too close together when you run the text on the inside of a circle. So what I like to do is click on the text and go to the text uh, tool right here. And over here where it says spacing between letters, just increase that, hold up that arrow to increase it a little bit. Grab the Select tool, take the circle, rotate it around a little bit, position it how you like it. And if you want to make sure it's exactly positioned, uh, you could go up here to these, uh, these little increments of measurement and pull out a horizontal guide and bring that down into the circle right there. And then you could rotate. You could see the tip of the W and the tip of the text. You could rotate the circle until they're equi equally distant from the blue guideline right there. And then we can click on the guide Click on that little guide and just press delete to get rid of it. Click on the text, convert it to a path, object to path, and now we can take the circle and get rid of it. And that's how you can take text and wrap it around a circle using Inkscape. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.